Namaste and welcome to everyone. what it takes me to know the real self. Knowledge. Now, I listen to it, I learn, and I understand. But if the knowledge is not available, while thinking, speaking, and living my life, nothing is going to happen. Do you know Ukraine? Do you know Russia? Do you know you? Yes, I know. But if the knowledge is not available at the time, so how the knowledge will be available? To recognize the five causes of suffering that we covered, huh? do you remember obsession with the body, egoism, attachment and detachment, and ignorance. So when that knowledge is available, how it is available? Four types of intellect, four types of knowledge. <clears throat> do you remember? Yes, yes, I remember, don't worry. <laughs> it will not work, it has to. We have to live into that righteous intellect. <coughs> righteous intellect helps me to live my personal, professional, social, and family life. What I was saying, I'm repeating again. That I know. Uh, do you know peace is good? Yes, I know it. Why don't you live in peace? Because knowledge is not available at the time when it is required. But why it is not available? Because of the five defects, five causes of suffering. Obsession with the body, I am the body. Ego, false ego, false eye, attachment and detachment, and ignorance. What to do with it? I have to in cultivate the four types of intellect the righteous intellect uh, that leads that helps me to live my personal professional social and family life in in what in discernment and dispassion that leads to peace harmony and happiness second inter the second type of intellect is the dispassion intellect the moment mind invokes me get attached emotional dependence no more emotional dependence free from unnecessary unwanted issues unwanted emotions i am very busy okay really it's an emotion you have to think of it and then to get rid of this egoism we need a love for the existence we will uh, discuss in detail about this and then the right knowledge of the Eastern wisdom to remove the ignorance. Four powers of the intellect. Power of faith, do you remember? So power of faith does not, it's not a blind faith. You are listening, learning, contemplating, reflecting. So what happens? This mind becomes very subtle. I'm going to explain you. Uh, further, when the mind becomes so subtle, it does not look at the physical, the outer, the surface. That mind becomes so subtle, it looks at the, it looks at the, if I say so, if it looks at the ultimate cause you have a faith. First is the power of faith. Second is the power of decision. Now I have a faith. So that is, I take a decision. And when I take a decision, I hold on to their choice. So when I hold on, you come to me and you have a very big faith. 
So I hold on to the choice. I am in peace. <laughs> Let me help you remove your sad face. <laughs> do, you, do, do you see that? But knowledge is there available, but it is not available to me. So when it is not available, then intellect power cannot be, cannot work. Power to hold on to the choice and then the power to continue to regulate. Ah, do you remember the five remarkable changes that takes place in the intellect while thinking, speaking, and acting day-to-day -day life? The real self becomes famous in the mind. Now what is famous in the mind? Oh, that guy, this guy, that girl, this girl, this situation, that situation. You don't understand my situation. As if you are the only one who has this situation in the life. Everyone, you know, everyone is very happy. So the real self becomes famous in the mind. And then the intellect shines with the emotional freedom all the time. When it is, you know, shines all the time, emotional freedom, what you need? What else you need? What else you need? That mind is, that mind is, third is the recognition. What is that recognition? The mind, the word. Uh, what is the recognition? Seeker cannot see and remember that whatever teacher is speaking is from the wisdom of the masters. That is settled in your mind, the glories of the existence. Your selfishness, your ego self, which is very limited, expense it expense it includes everything in the existence and then ultimately what happens in that state you there is a you know buddha says compassion so the compassion and the kindness and the humility naturally awakens in you. so that also takes care of the five causes of suffering You understood? Yes, I understand. So what we were talking about, it is good. What we were talking in the last session, if you remember. While defining real self, we first have to encounter what is not real self. Second, what is real? Uh, second point, what I witness, what I know here and now, what I see as a knower, it is also not real self. And then we define what is real self. So we understood what is not real self, three bodies instead of one. Now we are going deeper and deeper. Why we are going deeper? Because the mind is so subtle, the knowledge is realized in the mind. When the mind is physical, or I would use the word mind is gross. When the mind is gross, attachment, attachment, ego, unnecessary emotional dependence. So that mind cannot understand that. So when the mind is re mind realizes that I'm none of the three bodies. I'm not the five coverings over the real self. Then what is left is real self. But then there is a problem. That what I know, what I witness is also not me. Now we realize what is real self. Where, when, here and now. Ask the question, why it is important to know what we are not. Don't know it. Continue to suffer. You know, I am your husband and how dare you say. Problem. 
Did you see? I am. Hmm? Look at this I am. So that if you don't know what I am not, it is going to create a problem. I think simple way. I know where is restroom, where is the kitchen, where is the bedroom in my home, in which county I live. So here, Master says how to know this, how to settle that knowledge. So Master says this mind moves in three factors. I must be very clear 24 by 7 that is what we say living from moment to moment simply by saying oh I live from moment to moment so what happened yesterday I was in stress in that moment that is not living in a moment so we have to understand the three factors Sat, Asat, Mithya what is Sat? Truth what is asap? Untruth. What is mithya? False. Three factors. Now you have to com you can combine, you have to include, you have to relate these three factors. Uh, so go back. What we are not, first we are taking that we are none of the three bodies. One is physical, other is subtle. Third is causal. What is physical? We already know about this physical body, but we will know a little bit more. Cause of this physical body is the subtle body. We will understand what is this subtle body. And the cause of both physical and the subtle body is causal body. So ultimate cause, we have to go to the ultimate cause. Cause of the physical is subtle. Cause of the physical and subtle is the causal body. Now we will understand what is this causal. So once we understand what is the cause of my birth, my parents. What is the cause of my birth of my parents, their parents, their parents, their parents. Ah, so it's a problem of whether the chicken is first or egg is first. We should remove the doubt. We should remove the doubt. If we do not remove the doubt, <clears throat> so how to remove that doubt? By having the right knowledge of what is truth, what is untruth, and what is false. while keeping that understanding the five causes of suffering four powers of intellect four types of intellect and five qualities now understand simple way what is truth our master says that this truth or what is real is permanent existence what is permanent existence it is forever it never takes birth in death. It is imminent. It is all pervading. That is the real self. And what is uh, uh, untruth? It is permanent non existence. It is permanent non existence. I, I believe that I'm making myself clear. It is permanent non existence. Untruth. It does not exist at all. I have given example, elephant in the sky, cat has a horn. So many thought enters into our mind because of emotional dependence. So third aspect is the challenge. What is false? Did you get it? Truth is permanent existence. Untruth is permanent non-existence. And the false is temporary existence in some form, name, and the shape. Did you get it? False is temporary existence in some form in the name. 
What do you mean? I have a shape and I have a name. Am I false? No. You are not false. Your body is false. Real is present forever, all pervading, imminent and eternal. Unreal is absolute, absent totally. So you see that what I said? Real self is present forever at all the time, imminent and eternal. Unreal is absent totally. False means that is neither truth nor untruth. It is present for some time and then disappears. Clear? Now, go deeper. Go deeper. So if I filter out in my mind what is present for some time, then disappears, mind has no option but to settle in what is real. Clear? Yes, I'm clear. I'm clear, but I have a lot of pain in the body. Today is pain, tomorrow is pleasure. That exists for some time. You are sad today, tomorrow you are happy. Present for some time. And then this appears. <clears throat> I'm angry over you. And after a few hours, that anger is gone present for some time and then it disappears. Are you getting it? <laughs> oh, so present for some time. So if we find that, if we find, what do we find? If we get the right knowledge about these three bodies, now come to the physical body. Huh? Physical body, subtle body, and the causal body. We have three bodies. The master says we are none of them. But I have to understand, how come that I'm none of them? What is physical from outside to inside? The what is the material cause of the body? Did you understand that part? What is the material cause of the body? if I understand it. What is the efficient cause of this material, physical body? What is the function of the body? What are the modifications of this physical body? What we should do with the physical body to progress and succeed in the journey of awakening? Huh? If we answer those questions, then we are clear. Then we understand then we can remove this false I. -E. Yes. So now the master says this physical body is made up of five elements. We can explain it. It is made up of organic and inorganic elements, whether it's a carbohydrate, fat, protein, iron, minerals, vitamins, they all are matter. So we say basically uh, five elements. After undergoing a grossification, or you can say, you know, in science we say that this matter with the many elements undergoes a complex process which is known as protoplasm. And one unit, of, one unit of protoplasm is cell. Cell is a living entity. What is the cause? Material cause. So this master is saying, and then we will go in a clear understanding. So master says, this physical body is composed of five elements. After it undergoes a grossification, means protoplasm, as a result of and second causes as a result of good actions of the past. That is the efficient cause. We'll understand. 
so this physical body is subjected to six modifications six changes clear this is how the definition works now we will go material cause of the physical body what is the material cause of the physical body it is matter whether you say five basic elements so if i confirm what is the ultimate cause of this body physical body cause of the body is matter clear cause of the matter is earth cause of the earth is water because that is what we say uh, if we find the water in any planet oh there is a possibility of life so cause of water cause of earth is water cause of water is fire cause of fire is air cause of air is space cause of space is mind because mind recognizes the space cause of mind is i-ness this i is false ego that is why it says i am the body did you understand <laughs> No, no, no. Why are you are speaking so fast? <laughs> what a beautiful uh, understanding it gives you. So go a little deeper. Cause of the body is matter. Clear? From where the matter comes? Earth? Huh? If we have life, we need a water. The cause of earth is water. But if the heat is not there, then the water will not be available. Clouds, water. So cause of water is fire. Clear? It's not a question of blind belief. Clarity. And what is the cause of the fire? Remove the oxygen. Burn a matchstick. In the kitchen, you uh, uh, use your gas stove. Without oxygen, not possible. So the cause of fire is air. Clear? What is the cause of air? If there is no space, there will not be air. What is the cause of the space? Who recognizes the space? Who appreciates the space? Mind. Who's mind? And because cause of the mind is I ness, I say I know body, I say I know earth, I say I so I false ego. False ego says I am the body. Drop the false side to drop the attachment with the body. We are looking at the ultimate cause of the body. Do you understand what we are talking about? What we are not. So the master says we are none of the three bodies. So we are understanding the first point. What is this physical body and why we are not the physical body? So that false eye recognizes after undergoing a grossification of the outer world, which is matter, which is totally inert. I cannot be inert. I am a conscious entity. Hence, I am not the body. No. Inert versus consciousness. World is the body and I'm not the world. Matter, properties of the matter is not peace and happiness. I am a seeker of peace and happiness. I am a conscious entity. So this is a brief understanding of what is the material cause of the body. What is the efficient cause of this body? Did you choose to be born in US or Ukraine or India? So there must be some efficient cause. Did you choose your parents? Did you choose your gender? Did you choose your color, weight, height? 
No, you can see if you have a binge eating, then uh, you can choose the shape and the size of the body. <laughs> so we will understand. Keep this in mind. Huh? That efficient cause of the body is what we say the prarabdh karma. Prarabh, what is prarabdh karma? My past impressions. So we will understand the law of karma. So prarabdh karma is a total sum. You can say the total account from the different banks, whether it's a saving or current account. Out of that prarabdha karma, some money, some impressions are taken out that creates our physical body, shape, size, beauty, deformity, race, family, events. Efficient cause. Keep that in mind. So as we go deeper, if I go on explaining, then it will not work here. We will be confused. So just understand, keep that in mind. The efficient cause of my body coming from choice of the birth, gender, age, color, height, weight. Normally, the sign says the DNA. So we will go a little deeper from the DNA to from where the DNA has come. Okay, DNA has all the impressions, but how come your DNA is different from mine? So the ultimate cause is the prarabdha karma. Material cause is parents and efficient cause is someone else, something else. Clear? Keep that in mind. So we will open up. That is why we need a journey continuously to understand, to reach to that stage. So what is the function of the body? Physical body is the temple where the real self lives in. The house you live in. I am not the house. We are 100% clear. So this material body is neither me nor mine. Whatever exchanges that is taking place in this body leads to experience, right? Experience. And these experiences are the results of the action that I have done. Clear? Good, bad, high, low, pain, pleasure, etc. So what is the function of the physical body to experience sorrow, happiness, and mixed sorrow and happiness? So if I am upset today, the impression will continue tomorrow in one or the other form. And that is how my life continues. That is the function of the body. Can I get rid of what I have done today? Can I be totally free? from any and all impressions, then what will happen? Awakening will take place. Uh, so what are the modifications of the body? There are six modifications of the body. I am in the womb of a mother, so there is a sign of existence. Then birth, then growth, then maturity, then decay, you know why you're scaring us, decay. It's a fact. <laughs> it's a fact, decaying. And the last is more scary, death. Death of the body, not the death of me. This body undergoes six modifications. The first modification, uh, I am present in the womb of a mother. Second is the birth. Third is the growth. You know, you see that after a certain growth of the body, body stops growing. Then it depends on my mind how I am taking care of this body. I can increase in a horizontal size. You no, know, I just give an example of being eating. <laughs> but you cannot grow in. 
Uh, you see, after so that is what the maturity is. After that is a physical maturity, but after the physical maturity, body is still changing, decaying. Science says anabolic and catabolic processes. Huh? You know, those who have studied the fundamentals of biology, Jerry knows. So it's a, it's a catabolic and anabolic process. So after a certain age, the catabolic process takes over. And then we have uh, goodbye to the world. What we should do with the body. Work on the body for well-being of the body. We can repair and maintain. We can do the service like we go for a service of the car. Neither too much attachment, not too bit. Take care of everything. Huh? Put a lot of uh, cosmetics on the face, but uh, otherwise take care of the other organs of the body. Also. Repair and maintenance, check. Knowledge is available here to live my life according to the principles, wonderful. Check your heart, emotion, mind. Check, check your digestive system. That includes your circulatory system, excretory system. And check that you have a mobility. Four factors. Four factors needs constant attention to live my life in a healthier state. But at the same time, now apply the mitya, and then we will go for the practice. What is mitya? What is false? It is present for some time. After that, it disappears. Does the body belongs to that category? Physical body. Yes. Why to worry about it? Why to worry about it? Take care, repair and maintain. So when we keep that awareness, the mind, what if mind gradually starts dissolving the five causes of the suffering. What are the five causes of the suffering? I am the body. Ego uh, related to the body. Attachment and detachment pertains to the body ignorance that I am the body and knowledge is I'm not the body. Keep in your mind there are three layers of knowledge. What is real, what is unreal, never exists. Permanent non-existence. False that is present for some time and then it disappears how many times you became angry over me are you angry now no present for some time now it is gone you are stressed today you are not stressed tomorrow you have a pain in the knee today huh tomorrow not there fear we will take later so let us start our journey, close your eyes, body is steady and the mind is facing.